Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to just basically be doing a little chat. I never sit down, just turn the camera on and just chat. So I thought I would today. Uh, I did win a Zoom call with my favorite YouTuber who is Soph Does Life now, it used to be Soph Does Nails. Um, and I thought I'd just give you a little chat about that, tell you how it was. A lot of people have asked me on Instagram, like, what was it like? Who was in it? So I thought I would just let you know who was in it, what happened, what we were speaking about. And yeah, so if you want to know more, if, if you like Soph as a YouTuber and you want to know a bit more about what happened, then carry on watching and enjoy the video. Let's get started. So basically, my favourite YouTuber is called Soph. It's so she used to be called Soph Does Nails, but now it's Soph Does Life. Um, she has over a million subscribers, so I'm sure some of you will know who she is. Uh, but basically, she had a video up not long ago of a body shop video explaining, you know, self care and quarantine, and it was sponsored by a body shop, and they were um, they were meant to do a meet and greet, basically um, with body shop with a lot of like people who were going to pay and obviously go meet her but it got cancelled because of self-isolation and corona and everything so she basically did a competition where on that video you needed to comment down below hashtag time to get and then one positive thing about that you've got out of quarantine basically um and then she was going to pick five people out of that out of the comment section to join her in a zoom meet and greet basically literally i never win anything so i wasn't expecting anything from it i just always comment on her videos anyway because i enjoy them literally three years ago in 2017 i no 2018 i think it was actually um i went to florida and i commented on one of her instagram posts i never comment on um like bigger people's posts i do now but i never used to and i commented on hers just saying she put like a disney one up oh my god she put <laughs> She put a Disney one up saying, um, oh, I really want to go back to Disney. And I was saying, oh, I'm going next week because I went to Florida to um, go to Disneyland in a week's time. So I just commented saying, oh, I'm going next week, I can't wait. And she was like, oh, I'm so jealous. And I literally got so many followers out of that because uh, she only responded to like my comment out of them. And um, yeah, that was like my first conversation, not conversation, she literally just responded to a comment, but that was it basically. And then, yeah, so the other day um, I commented on that video just thought try my luck and she commented back on it like a week later saying um congratulations you've won a meet and greet with me so i was buzzing but i was like trying to play it cool so i was just like oh my god thanks <laughs> and then um so basically after that body shop uh finance someone in finance for body shop actually messaged me on instagram um saying congratulations you've won a meet and greet with soph um we'll basically give you the zoom details before the call it was i actually received them like two hours before the call i guess so i can't just spread it around to people and stuff um but it was five winners like i said so um i got ready i basically i was gonna do my makeup for this video but i just really can't be bothered to be honest i've got makeup on and i just wanted to sit down and chill i didn't really i don't feel like doing makeup today i'm just like chilling so um yeah but basically i did my makeup um i didn't do it like too much i didn't want to like go mental i just did like a kind of like burgundy eye with just some like shimmer on the inside i wore some lashes and i didn't wear my glasses just like now this kind of distance i can see but anything further than that i can't see anything so um which is why i wear glasses every day so i didn't bother wearing my glasses i just put some lashes on because my laptop was right in front of me and yeah uh then i got into the zoom call and i didn't hear anything else from soph basically it was all through like this body shop manager um and we didn't literally know anything. They didn't really give us any details. They just said, can you give us five questions to ask so? So I can't even remember what my eight questions were, but it was like, one was like, what's your favorite makeup brand? What was your, uh, I can't even remember, but I'll tell you the three that I actually did in a minute. So yes, yeah, so we, we told them the questions, five each. And then um, we got into the Zoom call basically, finally. Um, it was at six o'clock. So we logged in and then I just waited for it to come through basically. So we got into the Zoom call and she was there and it was weird because it was like you watch her on YouTube and it was kind of like I was watching a YouTube video <laughs> until she actually started chatting to me and I was like, whoa, this is weird. <laughs> I guess that would be the same for anyone. But um, yeah, I was, I was really excited because she is my favorite YouTuber genuinely and um, I was just really, because I like her because she's so relatable, you know? Like me, I'm a small YouTuber, um, but 
you know, she's kind of just normal. She isn't like flashy, she doesn't show off all the time, which is like what I like watching basically. So um, yeah, she was kind of just like normal. She was just answering her questions. She had no makeup on, she had like an eye infection or something. So it was just like chill. But I looked way too much, I realise now, because I had like my setup in the background, I had my makeup on, I was all ready, I had my lighting behind me just in case. I didn't want to look like the odd one out, being like, just sat there in my pyjamas, chilling. But uh, no, it was the other way around actually, everyone was super casual and I was just like, hey, I'm in a YouTube video. <laughs> but basically, yeah, so we just went around um, and asked our questions, basically there was five of us. Um, so the body shop woman was like, oh, Charlie, and initiated one of my questions for me to ask so she said you had a question about makeup brand so I asked like what's your favorite makeup brand because I was just genuinely curious because I like it's probably a question she gets all the time but I like Jeffree Star Cosmetics that's one of my favorite brands and with all the controversy and the drama at the moment I don't know if I should be like reviewing his products still on my channel i don't know if i should be even using his products on my channel anymore i don't know if i should be buying them still i don't i'm not saying like I still like what he's done, I don't like what he's done at all, I don't even know fully what, I've, what he's done because I don't like to get involved in the drama or even read the drama because it's negative and I don't need to see it, um, I'm just here to like, you know, create videos and do makeup basically, I'm not here to be following other people's drama, but um, yeah, I didn't know whether I should like be using his products, buying his products and stuff, because I like the products, they're good quality, so yeah so I was just basically asking her and she just answered by basically saying her favourite brand is Makeup Revolution and she was just basically explaining like how um, it is difficult like that with brands and controversy but she just takes a step back from that brand while it's like all going on basically. So my second question was um, how do you cope with wearing contact lenses which I thought was really stupid after I asked. But realistically it's not because I wear glasses and she also wears glasses but she wears contact lenses and I just am too scared to put them in basically. Um, and I, you know, I faint easily and I suffer with anxiety so I stress out really quick with things like this. So I was like, you know, how can I do that without like stressing out and stuff? And she just gave me some tips. She just said she was like 12, 13 when she had contact lenses for the first time but she said it took her so long to get used to them. She kept going in and out of the... Um, you know, spec savers or whatever to get sorted, then finally it just clicked and she liked them and they were fine. So she was like, I'm rooting for you, so hopefully, you know, I can just do it. But I'm very scared to do it, but I will try again. And my third question was, um, how do you have any tips on growing my YouTube channel? Because obviously I am on YouTube because this is where you're watching me right now. But uh, I've kind of stayed the same around 2000 subscribers for a long time. I've been doing this for like three years on and off, so I'm just like, come on, where's the people? Yeah, I just asked her and she gave me a load of tips, but she was basically just telling me to stay consistent, which is what I'm doing. Um, she was saying basically hop on the trends, which was like her biggest thing because I was like, I want to be unique though, I want to stand out. And she was like, but you need to get on them trends to basically fit in with anybody else so people see you. So this is what I'm going to probably try and jump on, which I don't really want to because I want to be like my own person and I just want to see for people to see me for who I am rather than jumping on trends, which everybody else is doing. You've seen it a billion times, but I might do like some of my own, some of my own ideas and some of like trend ideas basically. So it's like a mixture of both. But yeah, it was really good and it was nice as well. I tweeted her after um, saying like she was so genuine and actually really nice and very helpful. And she tweeted me back saying thanks and everything. It was, she was nervous at first, but. And then she said that she, my makeup was beautiful, which I really appreciate because I feel like it means a lot when someone big in the makeup community or like in the YouTube world basically says that or like compliments you. And she also said it twice in the Zoom call as well, which was nice. It made me feel a lot better about myself and it kind of gave me like a boost to carry on. But yeah, that was it basically. Um, and then... The body shop like woman who was like kind of hosting it all, she said that she was gonna give us uh, the new like collection that's out. So that will be coming in a video soon. I'll test out like the um, fake tan thing that they're sending us. And also Soph told us her top three products from body shop, which was the um, tea tree toner, the SPF from there and the body yogurt, which I absolutely love. She said, I think it was like, 
I think it was like coconut or something. I can't remember what flavour it was, but um, she said it smells really like fresh and nice. So I'm looking forward to that because that's like one of the only ones that I don't have from that. So um, yeah, they said they were going to send us that, which I'm really excited for. I think that'll be really nice. And I'm excited to receive them products and yeah. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, a bit of more of a chat. I don't usually do ones like this, but if you like it, then I'll do more. If you don't, tell me, I won't do them again. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you did like the video, please give it a like. Comment down below um, if, you know, if you've seen Soph's videos, what you think of her. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and press the bell icon for notifications for when I upload new videos in the future. And I shall see you in my next video.